It's summer 2019, a far more simpler and naive time. You've heard rumors for a while now of a brand new movie featuring everyone's favorite super speed garden critter, Sonic the Hedgehog. And with great anticipation, you rush to YouTube the day the first trailer is dropped. You click with supersonic speed that play button, then lean back and prepare to take in all the wonderful gooey nostalgia that's about to be delivered to you courtesy of Sony Pictures. Then IT appears on screen. IT looks like Sonic, but something is seriously wrong. Its eyes are too small and the wrong color to boot. Also, it just looks so weirdly proportioned. Sonic looks less like a superpowered hedgehog and more like a lanky teen hitting its first awkward growth spurt. But the true horror comes when it starts to speak. Is that human teeth? Did Sony give Sonic human teeth? Yes, you realize with growing horror, Sonic now has human teeth because either some animator didn't bother to do a second draft of the character, or Sony used its millions of dollars to abduct an orphan from some dark alleyway and genetically modify an innocent child into an actual talking hedgehog with human teeth. Oh sure, a few months later and after a frantic effort to avoid a colossal box office failure, here's looking at you cats, Sony would release a new trailer featuring a completely updated design of Sonic by an animator who doesn't hate the idea of fun. But Sony isn't fooling you. You know it is out there somewhere. Somewhere likely lurking in the dark back lot of Sony Studios is the genetically modified freak hedgehog with human teeth waiting to take its revenge on a world that cried out in horror at its abominable appearance. It's sorta of like Phantom of the Opera, only with a freak show hedgehog. Well, not on your watch, you pack your bag and fly out to Los Angeles ready to storm Sony Studios gates and eliminate this Cthulian abomination that should never have been in the first place. So Sony Pictures accidentally unleashed a genetically modified hedgehog with horrible human teeth on the world. And now that hedgehog is looking to destroy the world that turned its back on its awfulness. How are you going to fight and defeat Sonic the Hedgehog? To defeat your enemy, you must, as always, know your enemy. Sonic comes from a world we actually know very little about. What is clear is that this is a world where the common hedgehog evolved to become a supernaturally fast sprinter, and Sonic is easily head in spikes above all other hedgehogs in this department. Called the fastest living creature, Sonic spends his day looking for adventures, unable to sit still for very long. Typically, this gets him into trouble with his longtime adversary Dr. Eggman Robotnik. Sonic possesses a very strong moral compass and thus frequently finds himself trying to unravel another plot by the nefarious Dr. Eggman. Not much is known about Sonic's past, mm. save for the fact that Dr. Eggman is his longest lasting relationship, which probably speaks volumes about Sonic's psyche. Whatever the origin of their feud, the two are destined to continue battling forever, it seems. As Sonic attempts to dismantle evil plot after evil plot by the nefarious doctor, what we do know about Sonic's personality is that he can be quite the sarcastic quipper and loves nothing more than dropping a one-liner as he defeats an enemy in a sort of 80s action movie kind of way. He's extremely confident, perhaps overly confident, but rarely gets himself into a spot he can't get out of except for water. Sonic is famously scared of water and will do anything he can to avoid it. Perhaps it's because water slows Sonic down, though it's been widely alluded to that Sonic doesn't know how to swim and often wears life jackets if forced to be in water. Sonic brings quite a lot to the table when it comes to a fight to the death. Obviously, he's extremely fast, though exactly how fast is unknown. Most people believe he is merely supersonic, meaning that he can exceed the speed of sound, though some believe that he is hypersonic or up to four times faster than the speed of sound. It has been hinted at that Sonic can actually move faster than the speed of light, at least for short bursts, <laughs> and that possibly there's no limit to his speed. That's largely because according to Sonic himself, his power seems to increase by small increments daily, meaning the longer he's alive, the faster he'll become. Luckily, hedgehogs have an average lifespan of only two to five years. All that speed lets Sonic run straight up walls, run over water, and even along ceilings, although modern physics has a lot to say about at least two of those abilities. Sonic can also achieve even faster bursts of speed by taking a moment to rev up in place and unleash a blindingly fast sprint that can devastate anything he runs into. By curling up into a ball, Sonic can smash through solid walls with his stiff spikes, which can become harder than steel. It's not just Sonic's legs that move at super speed though, but crucially, it's his brain that also moves that fast. Having super speed would be completely useless if you didn't have the ability to process sensory information at equally super fast speeds. 
Imagine if you could run at the speed of sound, but your brain processed things at the regular speed you have now. That would be one good way to turn yourself into a high-speed pancake against a wall somewhere since you'd be moving too fast to react to it. Sonic's speed-centric powers also allow him to heal very quickly by vibrating his body at high speed. While science is still not settled on the specifics, initial research shows that a cat's purring causes vibrations that actually help wounds heal. In essence, the vibration stimulates high-intensity exercise, which promotes bone and muscle growth, only with the handy shortcut of not having to actually do any exercise. This might be the secret behind Sonic's incredibly high speed. If he simply vibrated his body at high speed for several minutes each day, it would be like his muscles were getting an intense workout, getting ever stronger and stronger. Sonic can also protect himself from danger by causing a rapid vibration with his body that creates a shockwave around him, deflecting projectiles or damaging foes. He can also run in a circle super fast and thus create strong winds with which to blow enemies away or suck them in. Lastly, Sonic appears to be incredibly resilient to damage, probably as a result of his super hulked out muscles. He's able to burst through walls with no visible damage, and once even survived re-entry into the Earth from outer space. If that wasn't enough though, Sonic can become empowered with various artifacts to reach incredible new heights of power. Luckily for you though, you're facing off against an imposter Sonic with human teeth, so this Sonic won't be able to go Super Saiyan on you and obliterate you with lightning bolts. However, even without this power-up ability, you're in for one hell of a fight. So just how in the world are you going to defeat Imposter Sonic? First, you're going to have to pick your battlefield. You want to avoid fighting Sonic in a place that lets him use his greatest advantage, speed, and one that's going to trigger his natural fears and insecurities. This means you're going to need water. A mangrove forest is going to be your choice, as it features a lot of flooded strands that Sonic will be reluctant to cross, and enough trees packed tightly enough that it'll force Sonic to duck and weave as he tries to make his way to you. Let's face it, in his world Sonic can violate the rules of physics all he wants. In ours though, not so much. While having Sonic run into you at full speed will leave you as nothing more than a fine red mist, slowly dissipating in the wind, Sonic is going to have to avoid the same fate himself as he ducks and weaves through the tree trunks at super fast speeds. You've got home turf advantage here. You've got a world where the laws of physics says Sonic going full tilt on his super speed is going to super wreck his day, no matter how tough he is. The next part of your plan to defeat Sonic, though, is going to require some genetic engineering. And luckily, with Sony Pictures realizing they've let loose a genetic atrocity on the world, they'll likely be more than willing to lend you the aid of the same evil geneticists that they hired to create this imposter Sonic in the first place. Commercial adhesives generally come in two varieties, cyanoacrylates and epoxies. Cyanoacrylates are known as instant glues and are generally used by home DIYers and kids in art classes that want to get their scissors stuck to their hands or some other area of their body. These glues dry quickly and provide an extremely powerful bond as they're resistant to chemical removal, water, and even heat. However, they are not very flexible and will become brittle if forced to expand, contract, or bend. Epoxies are used in everything from aircrafts to boats and are very strong, very flexible, and waterproof. They also resist heat and cold very well, which makes them ideal for high-performance machines such as airplanes and cars. Yet, as powerful as even epoxies are, there's another type of glue that's up to three times more powerful than anything man-made. And no, it has nothing to do with spider silk. This tiny bacterium, Calobacter crescentis, has been discovered to produce what may be the toughest glue in the world. And since we're not aware of life on any other planet, it officially makes this the strongest adhesive in the universe. Sorry aliens, if you want to be counted, maybe stop hiding from us. Using adhesive strands, the bacterium attaches itself to rocks and rivers, streams and water pipes, and rides out even the strongest currents, never once budging an inch. Scientists aren't quite sure how the bacterium accomplishes this incredible feat, but they've made some headway into recreating the stuff in a laboratory, with dreams of using this superglue commercially. How strong is it though, you may ask? Well, it can withstand a force equal to three cars piled on top of a single quarter, or in more plain speak, a buttload of force. Imposter Sonic with creepy human teeth is a threat to the whole planet and there's no doubt that Sony will gladly put its evil geneticist to work on developing a commercial version of this bacteria's superglue while taking a break from bastardizing more of your favorite childhood figures, of course. Armed with a few gallons of this superglue, defeating Imposter Sonic is as simple as dousing him in the stuff. He can vibrate, he can flail around, he can throw a tantrum all he wants. This stuff is so strong that Sonic won't be able to do anything but resign himself to his ultimate fate. But how do you kill a hedgehog that's basically bulletproof? 
Well, there's only one place to make sure this evil Sonic lookalike never sees the light of day again. For fans of our U-Versus series, you already know that there's some evil so powerful you can never truly defeat it. You're also aware that we're fans of simply throwing that evil into the deepest, darkest places on Earth where it'll remain forever trapped. That's right, it's time to introduce this Sonic imposter to the Litka Deep, the deepest spot in the Arctic Ocean, over 17,000 feet deep. This is a place untouched by the world's fishing fleets, which like to drop nets on the ocean floor and scoop up hundreds of fish at a time. It's also the home of the other evils you simply can't truly defeat, such as Pinhead and Chucky the Murder Doll, both of which you've already dropped into the briny depths of the Litka Deep in previous u versus episodes. At least fake Sonic will have great company. So defeating your glued up Sonic is basically just one boat ride away. Shove him overboard and try not to look into his eerily human-like features that look up to you in terror as the deep black water swallows him up. Try not to think that it's not his fault Sony made him into a modern Frankenstein. And definitely don't get guilt tripped into feeling bad about the fact that this poor Sonic imposter never asked to be born in the first place. Because hey, you did it. You defeated the evil Sonic imposter and saved the world. Now maybe it's time to defeat Sony Pictures so they never let loose such evil on our world again. Now click that mouse at supersonic speed and click one of the super interesting videos right here on the screen. Be fast, you don't have much time. Both videos are awesome, I promise.